A man is supposed to take charge. Electrical thing. They go and go plumber. Go and call an electrician. Go and do this. I don't have time. You are watching football. And there are things to be done in the house. Lend your weight. The door has broken. You are the man. Meanwhile, your wife is struggling with all the feminine things in the house. She's also struggling to get to do all the masculine things in the house. Please, our men, don't bury your head in the sand. When there is something to do, take charge. And don't push the responsibility of disciplining the children. Don't push it to your wife. And don't push blame on her. If a child, sometimes children are bad for themselves. It's not because of your wife. And so when something goes wrong with a child, typically men will say, you are the one that spoiled her. Please don't be a blaming husband. Women don't need this blame. Please share this broadcast. This is wisdom nuggets for our men in how to treat women. Protect your wife. Show your wife affection. Some men need to learn how to show affection. Any man that is supposed to show affection, that withholds affection, not only is it wickedness, is a sign of pride. You know you're supposed to tell the woman. It's even your wife's birthday. You will give yourself excuse. It is a no-no. It is inexcusable. Nothing is permissible for you to forget your wife's birthday. Men will travel. They will not buy anything for their wife. And when you check the bag, they have bought something for somebody else. This is not nice. The Bible in Colossians 3 verse 19, it says, Husbands, love your wives. Do not be bitter. What causes bitterness? Number one, unforgiveness. A lot of men have unforgiving spirits. Because you are a man does not mean you shouldn't forgive. Many women will forgive their husband. Oh, they saw this. They saw that. Forgive, forgive. But men, there is this spirit of unforgiveness. It is a terrible spirit. Because any man that cannot forgive cannot be blessed. That's why Colossians is saying, do not be bitter against your wife. Be accountable to your wife. How can you go for the whole weekend? She doesn't know where you are. It is wrong for you to leave the house. Not tell your wife. How many men drive out of the house? You say, I'm coming. And you, you just go. What if something happens? She's the first person your relatives will accuse. Well, what did you do to our brother? I will never forget a man that died after he had like maybe cancer that they have been treating. When they took him to the village, they said, call the wife to come and explain. Ha. The woman was wondering, were you not aware when we're carrying this man up and down, spending money on him? You're not asking me to explain what killed him. So please, be accountable to your wife. Where can you be going that you cannot tell her if it is not a bad place? Some men will switch off their phone deliberately. The wife will be calling and calling and calling. 50 missed calls. A man should have the fear of God. Any man that cannot submit himself to the Holy Spirit can never be a good husband. Because if you submit yourself to the Holy Spirit, you will obey the word of God. Because it is amazing now that even men who are born again, we are talking to men who are born again because the one that is not born again is in another category. Men who are born again, you are the ones I'm addressing. Men who are born again who are now behaving as if they are not born again. The fact that you are a man means you are, submi you are, you are to be subjected to the word of God. That's why we read that Ephesians chapter number 5. Let not adultery be seen in you. In church, adultery is even common now. You have your wife, yet you are always toasting girls. Always committing emotional adultery. He said, but I'm not sleeping with her. But you're always talking to girls. You don't respect private space. Can you be a married man and you are so close to somebody? These things are not right. There is something called private space. The fact that you are colleagues does not mean you, should, you say you want to take selfie. They are rubbing something on you. A married man. It's true. Because that's where, you know, body language it should be space that you maintain with the opposite sex. Always hugging women, hugging, hugging. But you are a married man. No? What if men are hugging your wife? Can you take it? No man can take it. His face will change. But you, you don't think there's anything wrong. She's just my friend. You keep on carrying conversations with the opposite sex and yet your wife doesn't know who, what you're talking about. You make her feel uncomfortable. What are you discussing with them? If it is official, keep it to email. These are things people do. That brings strain in the marriage. A wife wants to be reassured. Emotional adultery is equal to physical adultery. Some men are always chatting with women. Dirty chats. Men on pornography. This will injure your marriage. That's why you are asking your wife to do what you are seeing in the film. Subjecting her to torture. 
You want to beat her like they were beating themselves inside the film. You don't know that they are just acting. These things are not of God. A lot of things. The Bible says marriage is honorable to all and the bed undefiled. A lot of Christian beds have been polluted. The ways of the world with the patterns of the world. Colossians says, husband, love your wife. Let's look at six ways you can love your wife. Love her the way she wants to be loved. And what does that mean? You must know the love language of your wife. Some men don't know the love language of their wife. It is only what they think should please her. Some women don't want your money. They just want your time. She just wants to be with you. Her love language is time. Whenever you're around, she wants to be around you. So if you punish such a woman by withdrawing yourself, you go to your study, you lock the door. It's not as if you have an, an evil altar there, you know. But you're just somebody that you're always shutting her out. Your wife has to knock inside your own house. Say, what, what, what? She wants to be with you. Oh, love her. The way she wants to be loved. Know her love language. Gary Chapman said there are five acts of service. There are some women, they just want you to help them out. That is their love language. Oh, my husband was helping me today to bathe the children. My husband was helping me to get the children ready. That really means a lot to them. But you know, there are some women, they are super mom. Before you wake up, they have cleaned the whole house by themselves. Even if you come to the kitchen, say, please wait. Do you want water? Wait. You know, they have energy. But not everybody is like that. Maybe your mother was like that. Super mom. But your wife is not like your mom. You say this woman is lazy. She's not lazy. She's just different. Your mom is a super mom. Because sometimes expectations come from your background. Your wife cannot be like your mom. She may need help. Maybe the way she was brought up. You know, she wasn't brought up in that hard way. You have to know who you married. You know, there are some men. They are very sharp. You know she has American passports. You know. You know why you married her. There's a price to pay. That's reality. You know how they pamper her. You were pretending when you were cutting her. But she cannot turn to what you want. You can't, you can't change anybody. If you, if you marry somebody, if you go and marry in America, or you marry an American, and you want the American to be behaving like Nigerian wife, you have missed it. So you have to know the culture of the person you have married and gradually bring her up to whatever you want her to be. But it takes patience. Love your wife more than anybody and anything. There is nothing painful to a woman than to know that you love somebody more than her. There are some men, if their father should call them now, they can abandon the wife and run. I'm not saying you shouldn't take care of your parents, but not at the detriment of your wife. Take care of everybody, but your wife, you are one. And your parents should know that. Why should they be calling you to tell you things and they don't want your wife to know? And you too, you are supporting it. And deleting the chat. What did mommy say? Don't worry, don't worry. Uh -uh. She's part of the family. Any property they give to you belongs to both of you. Because whatever she has also belongs to both of you. A man who married a, a, a rich woman, they, were, they came to me for counseling one time. The man said, well, if she's not ready to submit everything she has, let's forget about the marriage. Because I can't marry a woman who is hiding something. And I said, true. But you too, will you do the same? It is easy to say that and use your manly authority. You cannot carry anybody above your wife. Don't carry your sister above your wife. Love your wife practically. Practical love involves secret display of affection, public display of affection. Who are you showing your affection to if you don't show it to your wife? In fact, when you show affection openly and your children see it, you are teaching them to love their spouse. And it makes the children very happy. It gives the children confidence. But when the, the father and mother are fighting, it makes the children insecure. Sometimes the children will think they are responsible. And it has led to a lot of breakdown in a lot of marriages. 